Tucker G here again. And Mrs. G. I uh, kind of want to talk to the new drivers or those of you that are coming out here and, and thinking about becoming a driver. Uh, it's kind of kind of reiterating a lot of what I say. You know, I always say that that first year, the first year to two years, is going to be tough. it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't set goals from day one. You know, should you become an owner operator before that first year's up? No, you shouldn't. That doesn't mean you can't study and and learn from those that have done it and been successful at it. Don't get roped rope into some stupid lease purchase program, please. I mean, you, I, I get this message all the time. Hey, gee, should I should I do a lease purchase? Yeah. No, I don't believe you should. Uh, are you going to fail at it? I'm not going to tell you you're going to fail at it. There's been guys that have, that have made it in lease purchase. But I'm going to show you far more people that have failed at it because it's not set up to succeed. Um, some guys are making money at it, and they'll show you what they're making. But I'd compare my check to theirs any day. <laughs> and I'm not trying to brag. What I'm saying is they're leaving a lot of money on the table. If they would have been, had a better option and a, and a better plan going into it to begin with, then they probably could have made a whole lot more money than what, what they're making now. And by no means am I, am I knocking anybody for the, for the decisions oh, yeah. they made. I'd just like to see you come into this industry and succeed from, begin, from the beginning. You know, if you can make it through that first year to two years, like I said, those are the toughest years. And if you got a, a long-term game plan, you're going to be that much that much more successful. If you have no, no game plan except, well, I'm going to be a trucker and I'm going to make all this money, you're setting yourself up to fail from the beginning. You know, in that first year or two, like I said, it's, it's going to be tough. You might not make as much as you thought you were going to. You might just make more than you, more than you thought you were going to make. You know, but be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. That's how I get through most everything in life. I always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. And it's a good way to be. Yeah, it really is. You know, then, then you're not disappointed. Exactly. Uh, like, like I said, there's going to be a lot of guys out there that are going to tell you because they just didn't know no better and they, and they feel that, that they do. I mean, I've done stupid ten times over. You Been know? there, done that. And I, and I learned from the stupid that I've done. And that's why I'm trying to pass the message down to you. Don't be like me. You know, don't learn the hard way. Listen to those who have experience. Exactly. Who have been through it and made the mistakes. Um, I guess that's pretty much what I want to say. If you guys have any questions, any problems or anything, you can always get a hold of me. I'll call you up and, and I'll walk you through it. And I'll help, I'll help you out as much as I can. Am I the end-all, be-all, know-it-all trucker? No, I'm not. But like I always say, it's not about, it's not all about what you know, it's about who you know. And if I don't have the answer for you, I'll find you the answer. You all have a good day. Appreciate you watching. Bye, Be guys. safe.